It's your man Jason, Colossal Smooth. I'm here to bring you, first of all, Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, I'm about to bring you Week 12 picks and starts and sets. Uh, right now, it's actually a live game going on. Um, I don't know how I didn't get this done Wednesday, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, live game going on right now in Chicago and the Lions. And, um,. Oh, usually because I don't do things, you know, I usually wait for the Thursday game to finish up, but there's so many games going on Thursday, and I'm not doing anything right now but watching football, so let's go ahead and do these games. So anyway, Chicago and Detroit, I got Chicago winning. Detroit, just not looking good. I mean, Mitch Trubisky, you know what I'm saying, he's, going, he's playing, everything is good with him, so... You just can't beat the defense right now. You just can't beat the defense of the uh, Chicago Bears. So, I'm going to go with the Bears on this one. Um, Washington versus Dallas. Now, Washington. Now, this is a 4:30 game that's going to be going on today. Um, right now, they don't got um, they don't got Alex Smith. I mean, he's, he's hurt. So, just off of that alone, like, I have to go with... Uh, with Chicago, I mean with um, the Dallas Cowboys. So that's it right there. I mean, I don't even want to start anybody on the uh, on Washington side. Maybe I don't want to start anybody, to be honest. So I'm gonna keep on going. Uh, at, um, Atlanta versus New Orleans. I'm going with New Orleans Saints on that one. That just made sense to me. And of course, you just gonna you just gonna. Put them all in there. Just start them all. Start them all. <laughs> it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a real nice shootout. And you know what? I would focus on that game on the DraftKings too. I really would. Now Sunday matchups. You got Jacksonville versus Buffalo. Jacksonville took a real hard, you know, loss last week. But I think that they can definitely. I think that they can definitely um, pick it back up. And it was a close loss. Like, they were supposed to win that game, but defense just couldn't hold up. So, but they was able to really keep, you know, the Steelers. They was really able to keep the Steelers, you know what I'm saying, the low scoring until the end. But Buffalo don't got that kind of offense. So, let's just go with the, uh, let's just go with Jacksonville. Cleveland versus Cincinnati. I'm going to go with Cincinnati on this one. They was really close to winning. They didn't, they beat themselves against the Ravens. Like, they really did. Like, Bullock missed the field goal and everything else. They beat themselves against the Ravens. So, let's go with Cincinnati. I don't think Cleveland is that good, but they coming up, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to rock with Cincinnati. I know everybody's going to be picking Cleveland, too. New England versus the Jets. I'm going with New England. Um, even though it really could be a close game, Gaunt's supposed to be back, but... I don't know. I'm still going with the I'm still going with the ring on this one. Uh, Giants versus uh, Philly. I got Philly taking this one. I mean, it was a horrible loss last week. I got them bouncing back on this one. Uh, Start that bad Josh Adams though. Yeah, he was looking good. About to get the run game going again with the Eagles. So I like that. I like that. That boy Barkley is a beast, man. It's crazy. But San Fran versus Tampa Bay. Let me go with San Fran on this. Um, Tampa Bay is just so trash. And lost OJ Howard. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just not looking good for them. So, you know, you're not. You, I mean, but hey, start up Adam. You can start Adam Humphreys. You know what I'm saying if you're in the pinch, uh, you, you can. I don't even think Deshaun Jackson is playing in this game. Uh, he's he's banged up, so I wouldn't even touch. I wouldn't even mess with him. I mean, question Mike Evans or whatever. But okay, so they changed up quarterbacks. Jameis Winston is now going to be the quarterback. So that's what I'm saying. Like it's just too much back and forth. They don't know what they're doing. San Fran is a more put together team, so I'm going with that. Matter of fact, Mike Evans is going to be probably one-on-one. One-on-one -on -one. One -on -one with the, um, yeah, I, I just come to think about it. I, I don't even like, I don't even like starting Mike Evans on this one. 
to be honest. I, I don't even. Um, Dad, what's that cornerback? What's the cornerback? Richard Sherman. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even feel like I don't even feel like I like that matchup. So let's keep it moving. Seattle versus Carolina Panthers. That's Seattle. Oh wow, I'm yawning so much. It's a relaxing day. I just want to lay back, chill. You know what I mean? Seattle versus Panthers. Panthers, you know what? And, and Cam, they could win a lot of games if if Cam could just complete a lot of these passes that are coming up incomplete. It's just so inaccurate. It's crazy. I mean, he's great on his feet, but sometimes you need to be able to get that ball downfield. And he just can't. He just can't. I mean, you running, that's cool. But I need you to complete these passes, and he's just not doing it. So I'm going with Seattle on I'm going with the uh, Seattle on this one. Oakland versus Baltimore. I'm going with Oak. I'm going with Baltimore. Lamar Jackson is probably going to get the start again. Um, I think it's crazy that, like, Oakland wound up winning last last week, though. I mean, I thought they would just go be straight trash. Ugh, another one. I'm going to make y'all tired watching this one. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Oakland won last week. That was crazy. But it's, no one was rele fantasy relevant. I mean, go ahead and put in Jalen Richard. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, he's just going to get his. But other than that, they got nobody to throw it to. How can they win? I mean, point blank. Arizona versus the Chargers. Going with the Chargers. Chargers was not supposed to lose last week. But whatever. Going with the Chargers anyway. Melvin Gordon is 100% healthy right now. You know what I'm saying? Keenan Allen, 100% healthy right now. Arizona wound up losing too. That's, and, that's who the, and that's who they lost to. They lost... They, they, last week they lost to the to the Raiders. So if y'all lose to the Raiders, come on man. You ain't you ain't, you ain't beat the Chargers. Let's go. Pittsburgh versus Denver. I went with Pittsburgh on this one. I went with Pittsburgh on this one. Pittsburgh looking good. They looking like they can put it together last minute, you know what I'm saying? When they need to, when it counts. So I'm going with the Pittsburgh. You know what I'm saying? Of course you Of course we starting everybody. For the most part, you know what I'm saying, that you know you need to start. The only other person that, you know, is kind of iffy when it comes to uh, whether or not you need to start him on the Pittsburgh side is maybe Vance McDonald's and um, Jesse James. Because the linebacker core, I wouldn't start that linebacker core. Um, again, I, I wouldn't start that tight, them tight ends against Denver. So let's keep it moving, though. Um, oh, and Philip Lindsay. Oh my gosh! Like you already know, you start him every week. Like I said it last week, yo, you start him, and he went off. Went off. Miami versus Indy. Indy is looking so good right now. They looking real good. I'm gonna go with Indy on this one. I don't want to touch these tight ends, though. Like, it's so inconsistent. I don't want to touch them at all, but... Hey, if that's what you want to do, you do that. But uh, you start... You, you know you're starting T.Y. You, I mean, it's it's up in the air with the rest of them, though. It's up in the air. Because, I mean, even though I don't want to touch the tight ends, and it's like up in the air who's going to really get the ball because they kind of spread the ball around. If you're in the PPR, you always know the backfield is going to be a goal. When it comes to uh, when it, when it comes to um, the Colts, you know what I'm saying. So, but yeah, let's let's move on to this uh, Green Bay and, and Minnesota game. I picked Green Bay. I don't think they was really supposed to do as bad last week as they did. I got them bouncing back. Minnesota is. I don't got them really shutting down. I don't got them shutting down Rodgers like that. So, let's go with Minnesota. There's a couple people that were supposed to go off on the Green Bay side that did not go off. For example, Valdez Scantley. Let's, let's, let's roll him in. Roll him in again. He should do his thing. And Monday, we got the Titans versus Houston. 
Oh, throw the flag. Good gracious. Oh, no, Mr. Trubisky is not playing this game. Oh, no. And I picked the Bears to win. Hopefully that defense holds them down. You know what I'm saying? Houston versus ten, uh, Tennessee. I'm rocking with um. I'm rocking with Houston on that one. Um, this this Houston is becoming a decent offense, and they're getting it done in the passing game. Titans are very unpredictable. But I'm going with Houston on this one. So those are my picks. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. All that good stuff. Hope you have a safe weekend and everything else. I'm going to just sit back enjoy this football. Hope you do the same. Out of here. Smooth TV.